great tip is when plumbing up on sloping bottoms, I always use the heaviest plummet possible. In this case, I use a 30 gram. It doesn't tell me fibs, and I know exactly where it is, and I can always feel the weight of the plummet on my rig. When fishing in flat bottoms, it can be a little bit different as silt can be involved. Uh, I'll usually start plumbing with my 30 grammer, and then I'll switch to a 10 grammer, which will tell me um, how deep the silt is in my peg. When I'm fishing on a far bank of a snake lay, I try and keep my rigs very simple. I normally stick with three sizes of float, that being a 4B12s, 4B14s and 4B16s, and they'll correspond to the different depths and the different stages on the slope. For the top of the shelf, I'll use a 4B12s. I like having a bit of weight and I can use a good bulk on a 4B12s, which makes it very, very stable, even in 18 inches of water. Moving down the slope, I'll, I'll stick to a 4B12s up to around three foot. This is in ideal conditions. Once you move past three foot, I like to move to a 4B14s down to five foot, and in depths of five foot plus, to a sensible depth of maybe seven, I keep to a 4 16s. This keeps my rigs very simple, and I always know what rig I'm using in what area of the canal. For all my summer fishing on snake lakes, I like to keep my bait very, very simple. I use hard 6 mil pellets and I use softened 4 mil pellets. First, I'll start off my softened 4 mil pellets. They're very palatable to skimmers, F1s and carp, so they'll catch me everything in the swim. I'll fish these in conjunction with a 6 mil or 4 mil bag of expander. Later on in most sessions, I'll be looking to catch a lot more carp. In this case, I'll switch to a 6 mil pellet, a hard 6 mil pellet. This is a lot more selective, it'll pick out the carp for me and hopefully avoid the attentions of nuisance fish like small roach and skimmers, leading me to build up a much bigger weight a lot quicker. 